Uh, we decided on working with Katie O'Malley, thought that rather than have individual conferences to talk about the closure of the Greenfield Bridge, that we would have one news conference to answer any questions you have. So basically, this is about the Greenfield Bridge project. It's everything you wanted to know about the project, but we're afraid to ask. Um, Friday night at, at 10 o'clock, uh, the bridge will close. Uh, the 93-year-old bridge will close at 10 o'clock. Uh, there will be a party on Saturday. Come Monday, uh, the contractor will be here to start removing the deck and the lower bridge for the Greenfield Bridge here. Uh, we keep saying Greenfield Bridge, but the real name, official name, is the Beachwood Boulevard Bridge, and over time it's become known as the Greenfield Bridge, and so this bridge project officially begins on Monday. Uh, the reason we have you here is we're hoping to get the word out to the motorists, pedestrians, and bikers that uh, f over the next 19 months they will not be able to use this bridge. The plan is to close the bridge, like I said, Friday night, have a big party on Saturday, and we'll talk a little bit about that, and the contractor on Sunday uh, will complete the barrication of the bridge, and then Monday the demolition will begin. Uh, over the next 10 weeks, uh, the contractor is responsible for removing as much of the deck as they possibly can, because in 10 weeks, uh, beginning on Christmas night, for five days, uh, the Parkway East, 37, Interstate 376, will be shut down so that the bridge can be imploded, dropped, and cleaned up within a five-day window. And then come January, and, you know, January of 2016, which is right around the corner, <clears throat> the construction will begin of this bridge. <clears throat> it's a $17.5 million project, $15 million to rebuild the bridge, $2.5 million to demolish the bridge. Our anticipated completion date is to be May of 2017. So beginning on Saturday, this bridge will be closed for 19 months. And we're very aware of the importance of this bridge. It is a major link for motorists, pedestrians, and for bikers. We know it's gonna be an inconvenience, but it's a 93-year-old bridge that needs to come down. It's just another example of the failing infrastructure that we have in Western Pennsylvania. And we're very fortunate to have 80% federally, this bridge 80% federally funded, 15% state funded, and 5% city funded. So in the end, we're gonna have a beautiful bridge here. And um, again, there are several detours that we, we are asking or recommending some of those detours in the next two weeks will probably have to be tweaked based on view seats and traffic and so forth. And also, we, we are beginning to see less and less people are using this bridge on a daily basis in anticipation to the closure. Uh, people are finding or they will find other ways to get from point A to point B. But we're very aware of the importance of this bridge for the other side, Squirrel Hill, Oakland, and on this side, Greenfield, going down to the Mon Valley and also in the Hazelwood and Lincoln Place. Next up, I'm going to ask Mike Gable, the Director of Public works whose department will be responsible for this project and again this is the, the city's largest public works project since the uh, Bloomfield Bridge was rebuilt back in the 80s so this is a huge project not only for the city uh, and public works but for everybody involved so I'm gonna ask director Gable to come up and say a few words Mike thanks guy uh, yeah just to recap what guy just spoke to uh, in terms of cost this is going to be the largest DPW project ever uh, undertaken by our department. But the thing I wanted to reach out to is to speak to more on the closure over the Christmas New Year's period. Um, we're not only affecting the residents of the city of Pittsburgh, which as Guy has alluded to, some are already finding routes now to get, a, you know, knowing that this bridge is going to close. But you remember, we have a lot of people that are coming in from the suburbs that uh, are going to be not going to be able to come through the parkway, and they're going to have to come through neighborhoods that they're not very familiar with. So, you know, I'm going to ask the, the residents of the communities to be patient. Um, you know, we're working on all sorts of uh, detours and uh, we're going to modify and, and, and change the traffic signaling wherever necessary, uh, working with um, CMU and our public safety department. But again, the emphasis is for those people coming in from Monroeville and the other side of the city, the entire parkway underneath us is going to be closed down, which is going to be uh, quite a sight to be seen uh, for that 10, you know, almost that five-day period. So uh, just again, want to reach out to uh, the, those people uh, coming from those communities to be patient, to, to the city 
of Pittsburgh people to be patient. Uh, it is going to be a long project. But uh, I just want to touch on those is issues. I know you guys have a lot of questions. I believe that most of them are going to be answered by my staff, Pat Hassett, the assistant director, and his staff that's here. So if uh, you're ready, we can open them up for I'm questions. I'm going to say right. one more thing. Okay. Um, Mike, I just noticed this become the official, um, unofficial dog park here. Um, <laughs> I see some people are stepping in. Um, I guess people didn't clean up. But again, uh, again, this is an important project for everyone. You know, this project, this bridge was featured on 60 Minutes some time ago. And again, it's part of the failing infrastructure that we have. Uh, uh, this bridge lasted 93 years. Uh, we're hoping that the new bridge will last another 100 years. Uh, so next up, I'm going to ask Patrick Hassett. Pat is the uh, Assistant Director of Public Works, and Pat is uh, going to overlook this project, oversee this project. Um, so Patrick, you want to come on up and say a few words? What's your, what's your step, Pat? Hey, good morning, all. Actually, uh, the Director and uh, Chief Costa have said pretty much everything to be said about the project. I would like to introduce you, though, to the new faces that will be bringing this bridge to you, and they're off to my left. Beginning with uh, HDR, who are the designers of the project, the designers of the bridge, they will be overseeing the implementation of that design. That's Jim Carnahan here to my left, and John Canelli is over there somewhere in the back. They're the ones responsible for the design and the engineering of the current bridge, and they'll oversee its construction in accordance with that design. Also with me today is Aaron Pickering. He's the inspector. Him and his staff will be in the field every day. So if the community has any questions or immediate concerns, there'll be somebody to go to. Uh, and that will be Aaron Pickering and his staff here in the field with Michael Baker International. Also, we have the chiefs of it all, the contractors from Mercedes Heavy Construction. John and Derek standing over there. They're the ones who are going to put this bridge together and build it for you. This is a team that the city has assembled to deliver this bridge after 10 plus years of designing and planning for this bridge. They'll be the people out here in the field doing the work. In terms of the community itself, it's been a long time coming for the community. We've done a lot of work and outreach to the community. The bridge fest that we have planned for Saturday is basically a give back to the community in terms of uh, providing for them a ceremony to commemorate the passing of this icon and a way to look forward in terms of helping mitigate the impacts of the bridge. All the proceeds from the event will go towards a business and community impact fee that will, will help keep Greenfield alive during the two years without this critical link. With that, I think it would be best if we turn it over to questions. I'm sure there's well, quite a few questions. I just want to say one thing. Um, Patrick, thank you. And um, this is going to be Patrick's legacy project. Pat lives right up the hill here. He's done great projects in the city of Pittsburgh and also in the Greenfield community. He's very active in the Greenfield community. And he mentioned about the Bridge Fest. And when he brought that idea to my attention, I thought he was crazy. But after a while, it was a great idea. And we are expecting a large crowd. And you'll have someone to talk more detail about your Bridge Fest. OK, we'll talk about that. Also, we want to remind folks that there are going to be some uh, posted detours in Squirrel Hill and Greenfield. And we're going to ask the motorists to follow those detours. I live on one of the uh, major detour routes, so I mean, you know, we're anticipating paying additional traffic. We know it's going to be an inconvenience for a lot of folks over the next 19 months, but as Director Gable said, we're going to ask people to be patient. Uh, we have no other options. This bridge ha must come down, and this bridge must drop between Christmas and New Year's. If we can't get this bridge dropped in that five-day window, we're in trouble. So we're working very closely with the contractor to make sure as much is removed from the top over the next 10 weeks, and then the bridge drops, and then we can begin construction in January 2016. Pat will have detours available, you have maps available. And Pat, I want you to make sure you pass out those photos you shared with me. The bridge is going to look almost exactly what it looks like today. So again, I want to thank Pat and Director Gabe and their staff for the great job they've done. And we're here to answer any questions. If you want to take one last walk across the bridge, you're more than welcome. We ask that you don't go under the bridge at this time. And again, we're going to keep you updated on this project. We're going to be back here in less than 10 weeks to remind you and remind folks that we got to drop the bridge. The parkway's got to close. We're going to be major detours uh, to get around the, the parkway and the Squirrel Hill Greenfield areas. So we know it's going to be an inconvenience, but we need to get it done, and we ask people for their patience. So we're open for any questions at this time. Thank you.